All right there, Monstars, how are you today? Hey, in this flip video, we're going to be talking about comparing fractions. So we talked about, um, last week, when we were talking about fractions, we made our acre chart, and we talked about fractions being part of a whole, a whole, as in not a whole, not a hole in the ground, but a whole pizza. And we drew out our fraction strips, and we had our numerator, our denominator, and we talked about how to show a fractional part. Um, and then we are going to be working with our fraction strips this week, um, some pre-made fraction strips that will help us. When we're comparing fractions, we use the same symbols as when we're comparing just comparing whole numbers. We use symbols like less than, or greater than, or equal to. So we're gonna dive deep into these fractions and we're gonna see if we can determine which fraction is greater than, less than, or equal to. Okay, our first fraction that we're working with is 3 sixths. So I'm gonna draw a fraction strip for 3 sixths. Now, when I'm drawing my fractional parts, it's important that my fractional parts are equal. So I always use a benchmark to help me. Um, I always break, if it's an even number as a denominator, I always break my fractional part into one into half first because that's going to help me kind of keep track of where the halfway mark is. All right, so for 3 6, that means I need 6 equal parts. So on on this first half, half of 6 is 3. So I need 3 equal parts on this side of my half line, and then I need 3 equal parts on this side of my half line. Now, each fractional part stands for 1 out of 6 pieces. And we demonstrated that by drawing 1 6 into each part. Now, if I wanted to show the fraction 3 sixths, how many pieces do I need to shade in? You're right, I need to shade in three pieces. And I always start at my left, and I shade my pieces touching each other. And the reason I do this when I'm comparing fractions is because it's really important that they're together so I can determine which fraction is greater. So for my fraction 3 6, this would represent 3 6. If I gave you another fraction of 3 8, I'm going to draw my fraction strip to see which fraction is greater, 3 6 or 3 8. Or maybe they're equal to each other. We're not sure. We'll have to look and see. So it's important that my fraction strip is exactly the same length as my 3 6 fraction strip. And again, I'm going to use that benchmark of 1 half to help me get equal pieces. This is half. What's half of 8? Half of 8 is 4. So that means on this side of my half, I need to have 4 pieces. And I need to have 4 equal pieces on this side. So I'm going to draw 4 equal pieces. And then each piece will be 1 eighth. And I need to show 3 eighths. So I'm going to color in 3 of my eighths. And again, I'm going to start on the left side. And I'm going to color, I'm going to color each piece until I get 3. Okay, so using my picture, since I drew my fraction strips the same length, I can tell by looking that this 3 6, the part that is shaded in, is greater. It goes further than the 3 8. 3 6 goes all the way to here, and 3 8 doesn't meet my line. So I can determine that 3 6 is greater than 3 8. What if I asked you to compare? 3 sixth to 1 half. Without drawing a picture, can you determine if it's less than, greater than, or equal to? I hope you said that it was equal to. We know that this is equal. We can use our picture up here to help us, our fraction strip. We found the benchmark of 1 half, half of our shape, 
and 3 6 ended up on one half. We also know that this, this is equal because 3 is half of 6. So if 3 is half of 6, it's going to equal 1 half. And to that same effect, if I asked you to compare 3 eighths and 1 half, would you say that these were equal? No, they're not equal because half of eighths would be four eighths, and three is not half. Three eighths is not half of eighths. So that would mean that three eighths has to be less than one half. So sometimes we can determine the answer by using logical reasoning, and sometimes we need to draw out a picture. Let's look at three fourths and one half. So using our strategy, I want you to pause the video and I want you to draw out two fraction strips, one that represents three-fourths, one that represents one-half, and compare three-fourths and one-half. Push play when you're ready. All right, if I draw my fraction strip for three-fourths, okay, I'm going to use my halfway benchmark to help me determine that I have equal pieces. If I have three-fourths, I need four equal pieces. Each piece is one-fourth. If I color in three-fourths, starting at the left, and color in each piece until I have all that I need, this would be a representation of three-fourths. And now when I draw my representation of one-half, I want my fraction strip to be exactly the same length. I'm going to split it in half at the benchmark. It's so one half, I only need two pieces. And I'm gonna shade in one out of two pieces or half of my fraction strip. Okay, when I look at my picture, I see that three fourths is longer than one half or greater than one half. So I need to use a comparison symbol of three fourths being greater than one half. All right, let's look at this one. This one is one over one and you're comparing it to one-fourth. Let me draw my one-fourth representation first. So if I draw my fraction strip for one-fourth, I'm going to split it in half at my benchmark, and then I need four equal pieces for one-fourth. How many objects am I going to shade in? You're right. I'm going to shade in one fractional part. Now, how would I draw... A fraction strip for 1 over 1. Well, I'm going to draw out my fraction strip. My denominator is 1. So how many equal pieces do I need to have? I need to have one equal piece. And I'm going to shade in one of those equal pieces. So I'm going to be shading in one whole. When your numerator and your denominator are the same, then that stands for one whole. So in this case, 1 over 1 is greater than 1 fourth. All right, this is one I want you to try and bring this in with you on Wednesday when your whisk is due, and we're going to talk about this in class. I want you to use the strategy of drawing a picture. So I want you to draw your fraction strips, and then I want you to use your comparison symbol to fill in this circle, fill in the blank, and tell me is two-fourths greater than one-half, is it less than one-half, or is it equal to one-half? All right, and we're going to end with a joke. So let me ask you, why do, what do puppies eat at the movies? What do puppies eat at the movies? Hmm, I wonder if they're going to see the good dinosaur. What do puppies eat at the movies? All right, Monsters, thank you for your hard work, and I will see you on Wednesday.